Hello students how were you all i hope you all are fine and doing good today again we are back with the chapter tick 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 and today's topic is revision so here's the first question from this portion the first one is change 5 hours 20 minutes 2 minutes here you have to change 5 hours 20 minutes 2 minutes so how you will change at first you have to convert 5 hours to minutes and then you have to add 20 minute with that and so that you will get the final answer in minute let's do this at we know 1 hour equals to 60 minutes so 5 hours equals to 5 into 60 that means 300 minutes and after that here 20 minutes is also with this so we will add 20 minutes with this that means our answer will be 320 minutes so the final answer is 320 minutes right so in this way the second one change 4 minutes 12 seconds 2 seconds so here you have to change 4 minutes and 12 seconds 2 seconds as we know 1 minute equals to 60 seconds so 4 minutes will be how much seconds that you have to add first find out then you have to add 12 seconds with that to get the final answer okay next is convert two days 14 hours to hours now as you know one day equals to 24 hours right so similarly two days will be how much hours that at first you have to find out then you have to add 14 hours with this so you will get the final answer okay in this way you have to do this also next convert two weeks three days two days so as you know one week have how many days seven days so similarly two weeks will be how many days that at first you have to find out then you have to add three days with that to get the final number of days okay so in this way you will do this next question is convert 250 minutes to hours and minutes we have to convert 250 minutes to hours and minutes so at first we know that 60 minutes equals to 1 hour so 250 minutes will be how much hours that you have to find out how you will find out you have to divide 250 by 60 so when you will do the division there will something come as the remainder and there will something come as the quotient so the quotient portion will be the hour portion and the remainder portion will be the minute portion okay so i'm again repeating this one so as we know 60 minutes equals to 1 hour so 250 minutes will be 250 divided by 60 so when you will do the complete division here something you will get as the quotient whatever you will get as the quotient that will be hour and whatever will be the remainder that will be minute okay next come to the next sum question number 6 is riya studied maths for 1 hour 15 minutes and she studied english for 1 hour 50 minutes how long did she study so at first you will see the question and it will try to understand the question then you will 
easily understand what you have to do in this whether addition subtraction whatever it is you can easily get it okay next is question number 7 is the annual day program got over at 6:30 pm if it was a 4 hours program when did it start so here the time is given when the program got over and here the time period or the time duration of the program is given you have to find out the starting time of the program okay next here the next one find the number of days between 4 2 2002 and 5 4 two 2002 so how we will do this let's see at first i will write 04022002 to 0504 2002 as you know 2 means what 2 means february and here 4 means april so in between february and april one month is there that is march right so you have to calculate this also now whenever you know when in march sorry in february sometimes february have 29 days and sometimes february have 28 days when february have 28 days when it is not a leap year and when in february have 29 days when it is a leap year so at first we have to find out that this year that is 2002 is a leap year or not okay so how we can find out that one we have to divide 2002 by 4 to find out whether it is leap year or not so 4 5 are 20 zero comes down so here zero we can't do so we are two also comes down so so we can easily see that here two comes as a remainder that means we can't do it if we'll again do it uh, it will become in point that is uh, not okay so here 2002 is not a leap year that means here february have how many days here february have only 28 days okay so how we will write now i will show you okay so let's see we will write in this way february equals to so if it is not a leap year then it will have 28 days so 28 now here what date is given 4 so that means 28 minus 4 that means 24 days okay so next march is there so we will write march and now you know how many days of march that is 31 so we will write 31 and again in april we will write what date is written here 5 that means we will do 5 minus 1 that means here it will be 4 so now we will find out the total number of days so it will be 9 here and it will be 5 here so total number of days is 59 days okay i hope you have understood this one again i'm again repeating this one that is at first whenever the month will be february that time you have to find out that whether the year is leap year or not because sometimes in leap because uh, february have 28 days but whenever it will be leap year then february will be 29 days so at first we will find out 2002 is a leap year or not to find out that we have to divide it by 4 if it becomes a complete division that means if the remainder is zero then only it will be a leap year okay and if it is not that means it's a non leap year so 28 and now here 4 is given so 28 minus 4 that is 24 days and in between march was there so march equals to 31 days and then april that is 5 minus 1 that is 4 so it will be 59 days okay now we will go to the next sum next sum is in this way find the number of days between 
15 1 2016 and 4 3 2016 next 10 number is mr ghosh went to office at 9 45 am he left office at 4 30 am find out the duration he was at office you have you have to find out for how much time he was at office okay next 11 number is convert the following here there are five conversions that you have to do and there in 12 number the most important thing that is conversion from 12 hours format to 24 hours format so this will be your homework also all the 12 sums you have to do in your maths copy okay and how we will get the sum you will pause the video so that you can take a screenshot and after that you will do it in your maths copy okay till then stay good stay happy thank you